make sure to zero out the vapor before you weigh any solid. Weigh about 100 milligrams of the acid. The exact amount is not important, but you must record the mass accurately. Slide the door closed before recording the mass. Transfer the solid from the weighing boat to the Erlenmeyer flask. Rinse the weigh boat thoroughly with deionized water to ensure quantitative or complete transfer of weight solid to the flask. Add about 30 ml of deionized water. Again, the amount of water is not important. Add 1 to 2 drops of phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is an indicator that is colorless in acidic medium. Under basic conditions, the indicator becomes pink due to a change in structure that results in an extended conjugation. Fill the burette with NaOH solution and record the volume to the nearest hundredth place. Add sodium hydroxide solution from the burette. As the titration proceeds, the pink color will start appearing and disappearing. Keep patience and slow down the addition as the color persists longer. Near the end point, carefully add one drop of base at a time till the pink color stays for at least 30 seconds. Let's look at it again. Record the final period volume. At the equivalence point, number of moles of acid is equal to number of moles of base. So in order to calculate the concentration of base, all that you need is mass of acid and the volume of any oil. It, carefully transfer 10 ml of the acid solution to an Erlenmeyer flask.
At the equivalence point, number of moles of acid is equal to number of moles of base. Using the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2, we can calculate the concentration of acid if we know the volume of acid from pipette, the concentration of base from part 1 and volume of sodium hydroxide from the pellet.